A harsh jumped across Boulder County today as smoke was seen rising from the foothills. Understandably fortunate though, fire that started almost a year to the day after the Marshall fire burned a thousand homes. That fire tonight is not spreading quickly. It started along Sunshine Canyon Road after a house fire got into some dry brush. Boulder's emergency managers say the fires burned about 16 acres, so this is not a large or a fast fire. Issue is it's just not very far outside city limits. People have been evacuated from the Pine Brook Hill area and a neighborhood that's west of Foothills Community Park. The East Boulder Community Center on Sioux Drive is open as an evacuation site. People are welcome to take their pets with them there or to the Boulder Valley Humane Society and the Boulder Fairgrounds is open for any large animals that need to be evacuated. The city has lifted a pre evacuation order for West Boulder. This is really encouraging news. This is for the area between Linden and University Avenues. Ninth was the north south, the east cut off there. People in that neighborhood were packing up in case the fire moved their way. Our Mark Salinger is there in a neighborhood full of understandably nervous folks. Mark. Yeah, Kyle, you can still hear, see how brutally windy it is today. And on a day like today where this wind mixes with cold, dry weather and you see smoke in the air with Christmas lights on houses, your mind immediately goes to the Marshall Fire and what that did to Boulder County. Now, people here tell me that they're even more alert and prepared since the Marshall Fire burned nearly one year ago. Now, earlier this afternoon, we, went, we met one woman whose house was just outside the pre-evacuation zone earlier this afternoon. That didn't stop her from packing up some clothes and food for pets as she waited for more emergency notifications to come in. She said after the Marshall fire, she knows that even being several miles from the flames can still put her at risk in a matter of minutes. Yes, yeah, scary, <laughs> but it's, it's happened before and so we just get ready. And the first time I thought, oh, my house is so far from, I know, half a mile from the grasslands, so it won't matter. Now I know better, right? <laughs> Now, when we walked into her house, Janice had her computer open to the Boulder Emergency Management website as she kept refreshing the map of evacuations. She told me that she kept checking her phone for those emergency alerts to see if she was getting a text message or a phone call. Kyla shows just how important those alerts are to work correctly on a day like this when there's so much happening and so much wind that things can change so quickly. But you just hope, Mark, that people are absolutely in tune, understand the seriousness, know the alerts that are out there. I was on the, the Boulder uh, new alert page today uh, that we just got up and running, I guess, like a, a month or two ago. So hopefully people have all of those tools at their disposal. And it's a day like this when you can see just how windy it is, where you can say, hey, I'm still several miles away from the fire. I'm not even in the evacuation zone, like Janice said right there, and still just how quickly that can change, just like we saw during the Marshall Fire. Glad that that pre-evac was lifted. That is really good news. Mark, thank you.